Kai. This is a special recording for Applied Business Statistics class. Will help um, in order to practice the certain certain lessons that we have in this class. This class, Applied Business Statistics, is a lot of practice. It's practice, so that's why I'm doing this video in order to resume or make a summary of the different practice that we have pending for this class in the lessons one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so let's go lesson by lesson. If you have an assignment pending, if there is certain practice that you didn't understand in classroom and you need to cover, we will do that for everybody to make sure that uh, Everybody's on the same page until today. So I'm going to uh, share my screen right now. Entire screen, share. I'm sharing with you in the classroom, in the virtual classroom in Populi. Populi. So I will go to my class, apply business statistics. And then let me make sure I'm sharing my screen. Yes. I'm sharing my screen, so now I will go, okay, I'm here in the classroom, as you can see, and then I will go to visit lesson, lesson. If I go to lesson, in the lesson number one, uh, activities. Every time you click on the lesson, you will see activity. In this case, this activity we did in classroom and it's based on the concepts for the chapter. It's a multiple choice, very easy to manage. And we develop this kind of activities in the classroom. If you study the material that is available for you in every lesson, I'm showing the material here. If you go down, 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 you will see video, presentation, the chapter of the book. All of this information will help you to develop your activity number one and the same for every single lesson. If we click in propose questions for a survey, propose questions for a survey, this assignment is just develop one simple question that you will ask to develop a survey. This survey is thinking on reform university students. So imagine you and me as a researchers, what we will ask to reform university students to detect the quality of the service that they receive on the school. Thinking you about, think about you as user of Amazon. You are using Amazon. What kind of things you will ask to Amazon users to know if they are happy or satisfied with the service that they receive from Amazon? The same with Reform University. What kind of things? What is the level of satisfaction with the facility, with the installation, with the classroom, with the teaching, with the faculty? etc etc will you recommend the school to others this is a great question to detect the loyalty that a customer a student in this case have with the organization okay like when you go to the supermarket you will see uh, that the cashier will tell you for example did you find everything you were looking for this is a great question to detect Take the quality of the service, the same that you will do in proposed question for a service. So once you click on this, let me see as a student so everybody can, um, you know, you see what I, the same, I see the same that you. So you just will type your question here, one question, what is your level of satisfaction? What is your level of satisfaction? with the quality with the quality of teaching in reform university this is an example that we can use as proposed question of a survey use a university so use a new question of course a new example so uh, you just have to click on submit in this question and once you are ready, you click on submit. And remember, at this time of the semester, of course, the activity one, uh, practically everybody did it. I 
don't remember I have somebody that haven't sent. Probably, yes, maybe one or two. But if you didn't send, submit it right now because the grade is not the same uh, because we are in week six and this is assignment for week one. So I will accept that, but of course the grade is not the same uh, for activities that are late, right? Because it's too many weeks ago. So make sure you send it. I will grade for you. And if you have zero in any single activity, don't forget to send it. So once you are in the week number two, Excel data and practice. Excel data and practice. So for the ones that are not complete with Excel data and practice, I will accept the same Excel for both practice, but of course the grade is not the same because both practice are very similar. And the practice number two, it's in some way contained in the number one, which when I say number one is week two, right? So when you do the activity Two that we did in Excel, the practice number two that we did in week number six, it's covered the week number two. So I will accept it, but the grade won't be the same. So submit one file for both activities. If you are not done with that, and I will accept it with different grades because the ones that did both activities different, of course, they did high, higher amount of effort. Actually, the Excel uh, specifications are here in this in this um in this video in this video because when we did it that day, I record a short video and you can see what we did in Excel that day. So you can actually do it and send it for this. So you just gonna click in this link. I'm clicking on that, and then you just click here, drop attachment or a click uh, to choose. You choose your file in Excel that you create and you are good to go. Uh, how is the file? You will see a video that I record that day and explains everything. But I will create an Excel with you right now in this video and you can submit this video here and will be accepted. Okay, very important that you know that. Okay, let's go to activity three. I repeat, the file that I will create with you today in this video, you can submit in the week number two, and I will accept it and grade it. On, even if the grade is not the same, that's somebody that did activity two with uh, in the classroom. Let's go to the week three to see what we did in that week. Complete activity three. Uh, it's also a, um, a test. It's a test that we did in classroom. Multiple choice, uh, very easy to manage that we usually do in classroom. I don't think anybody has problem with that. So I will keep going. If you have problem, of course, tell me. Um, but we did it in the classroom. And I think that everybody did it. So let's go to week number four, exploring IBM SPSS. Ay, ay, ay. This is, <laughs> this is a challenge. This is a challenge that the ones that uh, uh, were in the classroom that day, uh, we did it together. It's not difficult. It just needs practice. It needs practice. And today, in this video, I will do this practice just in a few seconds. I will do with you, I will do two practice in this video, Excel and SPSS. Every single time you see Excel practice or SPSS, submit the file that I will develop with you today because it's very important in order to pass this class, okay, that you can do every single activity. Then in week one, week five, the same situation. Uh, upload your SPSS output that we will do right now. And the descriptive statistic in Excel file is the file that we just gonna create, we will create in this video. Some of you actually, I can say a lot of you already did it, so you don't have problem with the chapter five. And pra, pra, uh, week six, very easy, is just the activity that we do at, in the classroom. And it's based on the concept that you have in this, um, in this material, talking about inferential statistics, 
etc. How we did that class? The video is there. I put your video and you will see the information there. Mm, the class is not recorded complete because it's hard to do it in classroom. Um, sometimes I lose the recording, so I try to record the most I can, but uh, for this one, not everything was recorded. So, but you have majority, a good portion, you have a good portion of the class to complete your activity. If you read the material here, you will be able to do it with no problem at all. And also, let's go to practice because that's what we want, right? Practice. So, remember the practice in Excel, we will submit in the week number two and in the week number six. No, the assignment that I will do now works for, for week two and week six. And the other assignment with SPSS, which is another system similar to Excel, applies to the week number four and also to the week, uh, that's it, to the week number four, if I'm not um, mistaken. Yes, SPSS of low files. Actually, I will tell you right now, it applies to week four. The, the SPSS applies to week four and to week five. So Excel applies to week two and week five. And SPSS applies to week um, two and week Five. Very important that I tell you this because um, it's foundation, right, to be successful. Let's go with Excel. Let's go with Excel. I will open Excel file, brand new Excel file for you, new Excel. So once I open my Excel, I my my activity consists in report sales for three persons for three months. Three persons for three months. So I will do sales report, okay? Sales report. And I will save it now just in case because you ask me this sometime. How I'm going to call it? How I'm going to save it? Okay. Okay. Click on here. SPS uh, save as. And now in desktop, I will call it sales report. Okay, sales, for example, it's up to you. Uh, sales report, Excel, activity. Okay, so I will call it like this. Sales report, Excel, activity, save. And I save it in desktop. I will use three uh, particular names to do this activity. Uh, I will choose three artists three famous artists because those are my vendors, right? You can choose anything you want. So I will do um, Peso Pluma, very popular. So we were uh, joking about this. So I will choose Peso Pluma is one of my vendors for, uh, the, for this company, right? Sales report and I will uh, say um, simulation company. Let me call my company simulation company, right? I'm going to be creative now. LLC. Sales report, simulation company, LLC. Use what you want, but use your naming somewhere. Actually, I will do that. One of my vendors is myself, Biel Casanos. And my other vendor will be, as we were uh, Saying class, Michael Jackson. You can choose any name that you want, okay? It's just a simulation name. So once I have Peso Pluma in March, let's say that in March, Peso Pluma sell, um, so this amount, okay? For the amounts, which amounts we will use? It's free. It's 